or something but uh, yeah so the roads are pretty slippery in some spots at least see I'm just spinning and I'm got a heavy load on you know continue on this road for 590 so yeah there is see there we go again it's just spinning like crazy everywhere So I'm kind of hoping that they'll have good treatments on there on the mountains up ahead of us there. I don't know if you can actually see it, but there is some fairly big mountains up ahead of us. So uh, from here to uh, Wawa is where uh, one of the biggest mountains are in this region. So yeah, I'm really hoping that they'll have good treatments on there, that's for sure. But, uh, 
We've been uh, spinning everywhere. There was one spot there I was even starting to slide sideways a little bit. That was dangerous, but it happens. But we got this new uh, Flying J up here just down the road and uh, I think we're going to make a pit stop in there again. Because they got a Subway uh, restaurant in there and I like Subway. And I haven't had anything to eat so that's about the only Subway here in a good while anyway. So I think I'm going to pull in over there and we're going to have us a bite to eat. Have a little bit of a break. Well, today my legs are uh, a little tired or something today I don't know sometimes I get pain in my legs I don't know why but or more in my knees but yeah, that's the way it is but yeah this is South St. Marie for you what a mess eh very slushy in some spots I have to use my wipers constantly <laughs> It's definitely a mess out here, that's for sure. But. Anyways, we are just about to hit the Flying J up here. That's right, we have already driven for about two and three quarter hours. Up to here to this point so far. Well, we got a long ways to go yet. I did call dispatch earlier. And uh, I asked him how much in a rush this load is and uh, he said it's actually no big deal on this no rush on this load so so I actually I'm going to instead of going straight to to uh, straight through to BC what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at home and take a reset at home that's what my plan right now is and then that way uh, I have a reset done. I don't have to worry about running out of hours when I get up there to uh, BC, you know, so that way I can just do my delivery. Do something else after that, right? I asked dispatch if it's uh, appointment required and he said no. It's basically first come first serve up there, so. Well, that's fantastic, but this is the Flying J. This is the new one up here. It's only been open now probably a month or two, if that. So we are going to see if we can uh, pull right in between this truck here and the scale. That's my plan, any of us, for right now. We're only parking here for a little bit just to grab a Subway sandwich, right? Let's see. Yeah, looks like we can do it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, no problem. So we'll just park her right here, and then we'll go our, go do our things, and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Here we go, guys and gals. <clears throat> we had us our, our uh, six-inch Subway sandwich up here and a bottle of water. That's right. We are trying to be. A bit more careful on how much and what we eat. That's right. At least I try. Instead of having a foot long and, and a bottle of drink with it, like a pop, Coke, or Pepsi, whatever, I just went with uh, a bottle of water, and that's it. Well, that's the way we're going to do it and then keep it down to like a six inch instead of a foot long I'll start eating a little bit healthier and less less you know not as big portions so that's my goal anyways and I'm going to try and stick to it yep it's quarter to ten now we're leaving I don't want to go through that big puddle of water right there so I'm gonna move over. <laughs> I don't like to drive through a big puddle of water like that. That's not good for me. Especially when that hits all the alternator and all that. It can do damage, you know. 
But yeah, hopefully by the time we get up there to the big mountains, they will have that all cleared up over there. But before we get there, we gotta go through a scale, possibly, unless they're closed. Then it would be a different story, right? But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be closed. I mean, it's Saturday. I don't see them being open today, but... You know, it can happen. It can happen, right? Yeah. So, let's get on down the road. And let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. Well, guys, we've been cruising along here on these big mountain hills. As you can see, they've been getting some snow here lately from what it looks like. Look at all the white trees up here. Yeah, but the road finally is clearing up a little bit better. So far, I haven't had any trouble with uh, slipping. <coughs> oh boy. But yeah, it's, the road is good. It's just wet, but other than that, it's good. We're just cruising right along here. But it is starting to get a little foggy now. That it definitely is, but I was just talking to a buddy of mine there, he's up there in Manitoba and he said the same thing up there. He said it's uh, slippery like hell up there too. That's right. Then we gotta get through this. Once we are past Wawa, we're, we're pretty much in the clear. I mean, not all the way, all the way, but uh, and we're pretty much through Steve with these big homes, you know. Uh, I just passed the sign up there, it said 100 kilometers up to Wawa, so we're not that far away from Wawa. Only about another hour, maybe a little bit more because of the hills, so it takes uh, a little bit longer getting over these hills, you know. But that's okay. We will make it. We will make it. Here we go, now we're going to start going downhill again, so we'll shift down a gear. Let the engine brake work here a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue on rolling down this hill. And let's see what else we'll be able to show you. Well, we have just had a pit stop here in uh, White River, Ontario. That's right. snow now it looks like oh, when I parked in there by that rotten donut place there man that looks like a bison terminal in there there's like maybe two other trucks except everything else is bison 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 I'm like holy smokes all the drivers are sitting in there and I guess waiting for loads to come in from Toronto or whatever that's what they usually do right they uh they switch trailers right in that uh, or, um, Robin Donut place there, you know. But I just saw the tow truck heading out that way, so the big one too. Well, that's not looking good. That usually means there's a big truck in the ditch or accident somewhere, so yeah, I don't like that too much, but hey, I guess we'll see when we get there what happened, right? But that's the way it goes. I'm just hoping I can continue cruising along here. The highway won't be shut down, you know. I mean, I'm still seeing trucks coming the other way, right? So that that should usually mean the roads are still open, right? At least you would think so. Well, guys, here we are. Looks like we are going to be climbing a bit. Big hill up here. I think we're going to turn on our four-way flashers. So that the people behind us can uh, can know that we're going a bit slower. But as you can see, we are still getting some snow showers, and it sounds like well, it's not going to stop anytime soon because uh, I've been talking to different people here and there, and it seems like it's like all over North America lately, uh, northern part, anyways, you know wherever it's cold enough to do right to do this so but pretty much all the way across all the way into manitoba it's doing it so 
I can expect this kind of weather all the way across. That's right. Yeah, we were going pretty slow right now. We were down to like 42 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's pretty slow. But it is a heavy load, so uh, what can you expect, right? If it's a heavy load and I don't have the greatest horsepower, I mean, I do have 475 horsepower, but uh, I know there is engines out there that have 600 horsepower. They would be able to pull up here a lot better than me, but uh, fortunately I don't have those kind of horsepower, so we have to live with what we got. That's all we can do, right? That's what I would say anyways. gonna have to fuel up there in uh, Thunder Bay area I've been using a lot of fuel today I'm doing pretty bad on fuel and I don't think I could make it all the way to Steinbach with this fuel I got a long ways to go yet I'm uh, uh, lower than half a tank of fuel already so Steep down right ahead. I don't think I can make it I think I got uh, almost a thousand kilometers yet. Well, not quite a thousand, but uh, I would think I got almost a thousand kilometers yet to get home. Uh, probably 800 for sure. So I don't think I could make it, especially the way I'm using fuel right now. But that's okay. At least we do, we do have a gas station up there, right? Fuel station, so we can get some fuel. Anyways, just enjoy it while we can, right? This beautiful weather. <laughs> You're right. Not even close to being beautiful. Beautiful would be 25, 26 degrees. Nice and sunny. That would be beautiful weather. Yeah, well. Looks like we're going to be going downhill here. So I'm going to switch into a lower gear and turn on the engine brake. I'm gonna start slowing down a little bit. Now you can probably see on how much it's going down. That's right. And right there at the bottom we got a lake up there too. Well right now it's all white because it's snow right? But uh, yeah there's a lake down there. There's pretty much lakes everywhere, pretty much all, uh, along this whole stretch of highway up here on Highway 17, so you'll see it all the time. Holy moly, that must pull up really hard with a Super B truck full of lumber like that. I bet you he's maxed out to the teeth. That would pull, out, pull up really hard, even harder than my truck. For that truck, you would want to have a 600 horsepower motor, that's for sure. Oh well, anyways, let's continue on rolling. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Nipigon, Ontario. That's right. We're going to go over this bridge that they had a problem with. That's correct. I bet you a lot of you have seen the news already about this bridge, and I was trying to show it the other day. And yeah, it was dark, you know, so it was a bit difficult to show it, you know, but. Uh, now it's daytime, so I figured, well, I'll give it another shot. I'll try and show you again on what this bridge looks like. And yeah, looks like they uh, have taken some weight off of this here. Uh, there used to be uh, a bunch of cement blocks right here where this pickup is sitting right now. But I guess they've been doing some work to it, so maybe they've been adjusting it. That's what it looks like. Even putting a new plate in there or something. They're definitely repairing it, that's for sure. Yeah. But, I figured I'd give you guys a bit of a spiel on what it looks like today. That's right. I don't think we'll be making a pit stop up here in Nipigon. I think we'll just be cruising right through. That's my plan anyways. Because about another 45 minutes past Nipigon here, 
that's where I'm going to be stopping and getting some fuel anyways, so why not, right? Because I can never ever make it home with this fuel, so I'm almost down to about a quarter of a tank. So we used quite a bit of fuel, that's for sure. And then by that time we'll be starting to get a little bit dark too, so uh, we'll clean our lights, mirrors, side windows getting pretty dirty especially from driving and all this wet slush today but uh, anyways let's continue on and figure I just had to show you that bridge a little bit already everybody we are in Ignis Ontario that was our goal for today yes we have again accomplished what our goal was and I'm very proud of that yeah it was a long hard working day today i maxed out my hours completely i am completely hours for the day i'm done finito i can't go f no more that's it i got here with probably three minutes to spare on my logbook that's about it and that's as tight as you can get it <laughs> you can't have it no tighter than that that's for sure but uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It was a little bit icy there this morning, but after that, it was good. Just wet roads, but uh, hey, for the last little while, it's been dry roads, so uh, that's fantastic. Didn't see any elk, didn't see no moose, didn't see no bears or nothing like that tonight, so that was fantastic. So we are done for today. We are getting ready to go hit the bed up there. Yeah. So thanks for watching everybody, be sure to rate the video up, give me a big fat thumbs up, share the video, because that helps me out tremendously, because, you know, if you share it, your friends and family will get to see my video, and they might like the videos, you never know. So, uh, if you did, we thank you, and we appreciate that, and if you're new to our channel, you got a subscribe button right down here. So hit that and you'll be notified every day when we upload a new video or every time we upload a new video you'll be notified. So uh, hit that subscribe button. That's fantastic. That really works good. <laughs> but anyways that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We'll be back tomorrow. So stick around. behind me